It was a bummer, man. My son's turning eight on Thursday, and he's usually a very good kid, but I was so disappointed. Didn't require any whippings or, or yelling or anything, but I had to take some of his things from him, and he had to write an apology letter to somebody at school who, who, who he was not nice to, and he's going to have to go give it to them and probably read it in front of the class. I, I'm not happy with him. Uh, but uh, such is a young boy's life, so it is what it is. Speaking of people being mean to other people, Yuri Prohatska, the new hot thing in the UFC, man. Uh, people are freaking out about this guy. Oh, before I get into any of that, this is a new thing we're doing over here. I'm a reaction review channel, and generally speaking, I do music, right? But I thought, like, I love MMA. It's my favorite sport. It's the only sport I really watch anymore. I still like baseball, but I get so stressed out and depressed watching it these days. Um, so I decided to do a reaction to Yuri Prohatska and all his pre-UFC knockouts because he's only had two fights in the UFC, so that gives me a lot of content that I can watch and, and talk about with you guys. So if you've gotten here via this video, let me know in the comments if you like it and if you want more of it, and I'll do more uh, on other topics with UFC stuff, and I'll do more reactions, and maybe I'll do live post-show reactions and stuff. I like doing that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, we're going to talk about Yuri Prohatska, and uh, I mean he's the new hotness over there in the UFC. Two fights in, they're already, already talking title shot. Um, before we get into the violence, I am an addict, as most of you guys may know. If you're returning to the channel, if you hit, you know, if it's your first time over here, I'm an addict. I'm almost eight years clean, but uh, I just want to offer a shoulder to lean on and an ear if you want to talk. I'm here to listen to you. So um, my information's in the description. Uh, Instagram is the best way to get in touch with me. If you're having a bad day, if you're dealing with some kind of uh, addiction issues, or you just want to talk and say hello, all that stuff's down there, man. You holler at your boy. And we also have a horror movie channel that I just started, so if you're into that kind of thing, it's also in the description. Let's check out some of this violence. Anybody ready for violence? Yo, this dude, I, I will say this though, he's mad fun, bro. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the volume kind of low on this so I can talk to you guys while we're watching it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. I'll pause it a little bit, I would imagine, but I'm gonna try to keep the pausing to a minimum because the video's eight minutes long. Uh, but um, yeah. All right, let's let's start with the with the video, and then I'll and then I'll tell you guys my thoughts on Yuri here uh, in a moment. Okay. Thank you for your time. I appreciate. it. I hope you enjoy. Prohaska drops him. Uppercut. 15 seconds to go in the opening round. Picking up the pace is Prohaska. Bobbing and weaving his head is Albrechtson. Taking the shots. Hair flying uh -oh. everywhere. Down he goes. It's over. Marie says that is enough. <laughs> <laughs> that boy said hair flying everywhere. Uh, he's got that crazy weird antenna hair. He had that at his last UFC fight when he just obliterated Dominic Reyes. I feel bad for Dom Reyes, man. I hope he's okay. Uh, and I hope he gets back on it and, and, and comes back and is successful. This poor guy right here got beat the up. Very puzzled am I, to be honest with you. Boom. Robertson, the way he was finally able to land those oh. punches and then stop. Prohaska got up and then said, that's it. I'm going to finish you off. Yo, why would you start landing hammer fists and just stop let the dude up? That's bananas. That's what you get, bro. That's what. So, this dude's got like a 96% finish rate. I think he's got like 26 knockouts out of like 27 victories. Um, he's only got a couple of losses. Uh, I think he's a little wild, personally. I like his size and his length and everything, but I think he's a little wild. And uh, his unpredictability is a benefit, but I also think it's a hindrance because I think that Jan Blahovitz would just tear this dude to pieces right now. You know, got to see it to find out, but I don't think he's beaten the champ yet. He's so strange. Oh, oh man, that guy's on the end of every punch. Oh, leg kicks are no joke, bro. <laughs> Yo, his hair is different in every video, every fight. That dude's stiff as a board, son. That's awful. CB Dalloway. Man, that's rough, bud. <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh, right uppercut, left hook. Whoo, bing, bing. Yeah, right uppercut, left hook. Good grief. He's a big boy, though. He ain't nothing to joke around with, man. I tell you what. Ugh. Ugh. First off, bro slipped when he kicked. That's awesome. Knees like that should be legal in the UFC, man. It, bro, if you can kick a dude in the head with your shin, or you can elbow a guy in the face, you can throw an up elbow like this, you can throw an elbow like uh, old buddy did and knocked out Korean Zombie, you should be able to knee a dude in the head. It's ridiculous, man. Protect yourself. Like, come on. What are we doing here, folks? This is a good video. Uh, shout out to That's Why MMA. That's the dude that uploaded this compilation for me. I'm going to put a link to this video in my description. If you like this video, please go give him a follow or whatever and, and support his channel too. Uh, I just found this and thought it was cool and wanted to react to it. So, Boom! Fell down on his butt. Got up. Was that a small elbow? Ooh, nope. Straight right and then a bunch of knees to the head. That guy said, stop, please stop. That said, that boy said, don't throw it in a white towel. Throw it in a white sheet, bro. Cover me up. Pufwap, pufwap. Yeah, some butt rock. Capelos, I've heard of this dude before. Oh, stunned him. Better finish the job. Oh! There you go. Knee to the jaw, son. Oh, pink. Oh! So I'm not super familiar with him. I'm seeing most of this for the first time. This dude's wild, man. I watched a little bit of it. I've probably seen some of this, just don't remember it, but like, uh, oh, it's fighting King Mo. Oh, hold up. Oh! Oh, that's rough, dude. Bop, bop. Left, left, right hook, left hook, right uppercut, left hook. Good grief. That was like eight straight punches to the dome. I like all the angles, man. This dude put together a good compilation. Thumbs up and subscribe to this dude right now, son. Send some people his way, man. If you're a fan of MMA, this dude's... Oh! Oh! I don't know who that was he's fighting, but that dude looked... Oh, my goodness. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. That was right by his dick neck, bro. Oh, man. That's rough. Yo, y'all see uh, Cub Swanson get body kicked by uh, Giga Chikadze this past weekend? Made me sad, bro. I love Cub Swanson, dude. That guy's a G, man. I liked when he had the mustache, bro. But he'd be over there hanging out with TJ Dillashaw. Make me wonder, man, why he ain't on that EPO, bro. Get on it, bro. He could gram life. Shot there by Rahaska. Here comes Maldonado. He backs himself once again into the corner. Oh! Oh! And he drops. And it's over. Dude, you can hear those punches. That... Yeah, this dude's tough, man. by a right hook. Maldonado went down. He was able to get one punch in there, Frank, for the ground and pound. We're only halfway done. I'm so sorry I talked too much. Bow. Y'all think he can beat Jan? I don't know, man. I think Jan's too technical. I like watching him, though. I'll tell you that. He's very... Oh. Bro. He just Sanhagen that dude. That was wild. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. He's very, very fun to watch, and I enjoy it, but I don't think he's beating Jan Blahovic right now. I don't know about Glover, because Glover's a little older. I can't wait for that fight. I'm so happy for Glover Teixeira, man. He, he earned that, dude. He beat Volkan Ozdemir, and he's beaten Dominic Reyes. My goodness, coming to UFC and beat those two guys, that's... that's... They ain't stopping after that knee. Yeah, they in Russia. <laughs> Bam. 
tak to koleno je prostě šílené a byť šlo přes nějaký ten kryt, tak si myslím, že prostě rozhodlo. Good grief. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't flush. There's no, there's no reason to, to, to call it after that, but he whooped that dude's ass. This dude's something else, man. He's popular for a reason. He's fun to watch. Somebody said in another video, like a just a general MMA video, that. And they stopped that one, didn't they? <laughs> Somebody said that he was what uh, we wanted. That he's what we thought Johnny Walker was gonna be. He reminds me of like Johnny Walker, Tony Ferguson, maybe even like a little bit of early Gaethje, but big. This dude's humongous. Johnny Walker, I feel bad for him too, man. He jacked his shoulder up. His head been the same since he did that stupid worm thing. That's what you get for showboating, man. Big. He like Balak. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do to you, guy. Kaboom! Blam! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, I believe he's a Muay Thai practitioner before MMA. He keeps his hands really low, and, and I understand he's got a chin, but dude, that goes away at a certain point. Not to mention that if you hit somebody on the button, it don't matter if they got a chin, dude. They're going to sleep. This dude's fun to watch, though, bro. He throws, like, wild, like, really wide looping punches. And then some of his stuff is, like, super technical, but his hands are never up. They're always, like, really far down. And, uh, I don't know, man. I don't really understand his coaching not trying to get on top of that. Did you hear that? Hold up. Oh, Yo, that was rough. Boom. 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 That might be the most impressive thing I've seen him do so far. That was clean. Fake the kick and just kick. Oh. Man, all of the UFC fans, y'all need to start watching some of these other promotions, man. They're a little bit better with the rules. I'm personally a pro-steroid guy. Like, I don't know if I'm pro-steroid, but it doesn't bother me at all. And uh, some of these other promotions are a little more lenient with their drug testing. And uh, they're definitely better with their rules because, like, soccer kicks should be allowed. Look at this, dude. Ooh. Oh, brutality. Brutalitarianism. That's not a word, is it? Anyways, uh, soccer kick should be allowed. Head kick should be allowed. Kneeing a down opponent should be allowed. All that stuff should be allowed. Also, 12 to 6 elbows should be allowed. But, you know, what do I know? Really, not a lot, but still, I have an opinion, right? I'm entitled to my opinion. And emerge victorious. It was a good video, man. I'm having a good time watching this. He just kind of gave me the shaking of the head. Yeah, I don't think he's happy with the performance. No, Tripping. I'm not happy. I almost murdered this guy. I really wanted him dead. Oh, those last two were bad. Bad. That, dude, that's rough. Pardon me. Uh, I'm fixing to film my horror, my weekly horror podcast. If anybody's interested in that stuff, come check it out, man. I would really appreciate it. If you like horror, if you don't like horror, you certainly won't like it. Oh, this is my nightmare. Leg kicks. Yeah, Muay Thai. Dude, you can tell which guy is him just by his silhouette. Oh! Oh, he's a young buck right there. Ooh, oh, 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 o
Oh, that boy said, Kesha, Timber. Who, who, what was that song she did? It was Timber, right? I don't know. Whatever. That's lame. I'm lame. But Yuri Prohatska, the new hot stuff in the UFC. What do y'all think about this dude? I think he's dope, man. I think he's got a lot of talent, a lot of raw talent. I think with the, with the right coaching, this dude will be a problem. I think he's already a problem, but I think with the right coaching, because look, Dominic Reyes hit him with everything with the kitchen sink, man. Like, I watched that on replay a couple of times just because I was so shocked at the outcome, right? I picked Yuri to win the fight, but I didn't think it was going to go like that. I thought it was going to be fourth or fifth round, maybe a TKO, maybe, I don't know, but I didn't expect, like, a straight knockout in the second round, like the first two minutes of the second round. But, um... Dom was, was laying it on him, but he was just, like, shaking his head and being like, nah, bro. So, like, I don't know, man. With the right coaching, this dude's going to be a champion, I think. But uh, I just don't think he's quite ready yet. I think he's a little too raw. But he's so fun. Like, I, dude, he's going to get knocked out at some point. This dude fights way too wild. His hands are way too low. Uh, until he starts to learn, until he focuses more on his boxing and he focuses more on his defense... He, there's a big chance every time he goes out there that he's going to get laid on the floor. Um, I mean, imagine a guy like, I mean, a dude, this dude ain't beating John Jones. Like, John Jones is going to stay on his bike and just pick him apart from distance, and this dude's going to gas out in the second or third round. That's my prediction for that. But um, I sure like him, though. He's fun to watch. I love Jan Blahovich though, so I don't want him to lose. I don't know what I want to happen with that. Um, the next fight with with uh oh what's his face man old school dude i just talked about him a minute ago anyways um i'm tired if you can't tell yeah that was a good time man i really enjoyed that it's a long video but that video was also really long uh i hope you enjoyed this i would like to do more of it if you did enjoy it please let me know by giving me a thumbs up or a, or in a comment or, or subscribe to the channel if you don't mind if you want to check out our merch or patreon uh, social media um, or send me something to watch and review. All that information is down in the description. If you don't feel like doing any of that, no worries. Uh, just come back and watch the videos. That's the most important thing. We're just over here trying to have a good time. Uh, this is the Shop 31. I'm your punk rock dad. You're my 31 fam, and I sincerely appreciate all of your time. I'll see you soon. Yeah, have a good night, everybody. Peace.